In this video, we're going to learn how to count the number of digits in an integer number using C++. So let's go over an example of how to solve this problem. If we have the integer 5,365, and we take this integer and divide it by 10, we'll get here 536. Then if we take this quotient and divide it by 10, we'll get that 536 divided by 10 is equal to 53. We can keep this process going. We'll take the quotient and divide it by 10. We'll have 53 divided by 10 is going to be equal to five. Then we'll take five and divide five by 10 and we'll get zero here. So here we've taken our number and divided it by 10. Then we've taken the quotient from the previous division and divided it by 10 until we reach zero. The number of divisions it takes to reach zero by following this process is going to be the number of digits in the number. So what we'll do is make a function that's going to carry out this process of continually dividing the last quotient by 10 until the resulting quotient is equal to zero. Then we'll keep count of how many division operations that took and we'll return that number. So let's make the function. Up here we'll have int because the function is going to return the number of digits in the integer. We'll call the function count digits, and the function is going to accept an int value as an argument. So we'll have here int number for the name of the parameter. Then we'll supply a definition of this function down here. So we'll copy this and paste it. And we'll declare an int variable called digits to keep track of the number of digits in the number which is initially going to be zero because we haven't counted any digits in the number yet. Then we'll follow this process of continually dividing the number by 10 and counting the number of division operations it takes to reach the value zero. And that's going to tell us how many digits are in the number. In this case here, it was four. So we'll have here a while loop. We'll have while number does not equal zero. So, so long as the number has not yet reached zero, we're going to continue this process. And we'll have here number is equal to number divided by 10. So we'll divide the current number by 10 and then store the result back into number. We'll also increment digits to acknowledge that there's been another digit in the number. So we'll have here digits plus plus. Then down here, we can return the number of digits we counted. We'll have return digits. Now there is one special case, and that's if the number is actually equal to zero. If the number is actually equal to zero already, then we're going to say that number has one digit. So we'll check for that. Well, if here, if number is equal to zero, then in this case, we're just going to return one. We can now test our function out. So up here, we'll call count digits and we'll pass it 5,365, and we'll put here the number of digits in 5,365 colon, then we'll put the result followed by an end line. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here the number of digits in 5,365 is four, which is correct. So this is how we can count the number of digits in an integer using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.